Hello, today is April 1st, 2015, and I just wanted to share a surprise with you that I had the other day where I was straining, um, I, I raised now the baby brine shrimp to feed my uh, septichromus um, to get them in breeding condition, and um, I was, what I do, normally do is I take this strainer and I strain it over the, you know, with the, the baby brine shrimp that I just, just newly hatched and I put water, you know, drain the water out of there and do a little bit of rinsing water and it drains into this bucket. And then periodically I clean the bucket out. And lo and behold, the other day I took the cover off and the, I have a cover here that I use as well to, to kind of uh, hold the strainer. And I, it was kind of covered and I didn't even, it hadn't opened up in a while because it wasn't full. And then lo and behold, I looked at it, and my goodness, there's, there's fully, I think they're adult, totally adult, uh, brine shrimp. I'm not sure how long they get, but they're really, it's really cool. Um, so what I'm trying to do now is, because uh, I think there's about 20 in there, is I'm, I'm taking the, the brine shrimp hatchery, which is right here, and uh, which I take, and uh, I just have this that, that bucket sitting on one of the holders, uh, just to get the temperature right, and I've got the salinity right in the water, um, so I'm going to try to, you know, and let it let it get adapted and see if they they live in there. Um, I didn't feed them at all, obviously. I just did the the they got the residuals from the maybe the shells from the baby brine shrimp or something. But uh, what I'm going to do now, this is this is the the the, the what I put the, the I put the water in there, and then I, there's a valve on the bottom there I made and all that sort of stuff, and uh, put that in, in the in the uh, bottom of the, the, the two-liter bottle over there. And I got two of them in there because I was doing two of them at one time. And uh, so I'll give you an update if things work. But I thought that was pretty cool. It's kind of off the topic normally. But uh, I thought it was really cool because there, um, I think there's about 20 adults in there right now of diff slightly different sizes. And some of them might appear to be mating because they're attached to each other. And hopefully the video is coming out pretty good. And uh, all that we're feeding on, like I said, is the the residual leftovers from the straining of the baby brine shrimp. So anyways, we'll see what happens. All the best and God bless and ha happy April Fool's Day.